So what I'm going to be showing you is how to do photo masks with Squidgy templates. We're going to use a couple of word collages here. Senior and family, we're going to use um, a uh, new, we're going to use a before and after collage. We're going to use a marketing board um, with a photo mask. So we'll start with the senior word. So what you're going to do, you have your masks over here. Each letter is a mask. Um, in this particular case, it's an actual letter, so you could type and create something else. Um, so you're going to have that little T icon. So what you want to do is you want to start by picking your images and opening them up. So we'll start with um, this picture. I'm going to select all and copy. You can also do Control A, Control C on the keyboard and then in your uh, collage template your document here you're going to click on the pic the the mask that you want your picture to be of and then when you hit control v command v or edit paste it's going to paste it in and if you use your arrow key up here to move it over top of that letter you're going to see that letter disappears the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add your mask and you're going to hold down the control key and you're going to hover over the thumbnail for that layer. It's going to make that little hand icon with the dotted square around it and then when while holding down the control key if you click on that you're going to see it makes your mask here your your selection your s to make it a mask on your image you're going to have your image layer selected and you're going to click your little icon that's a circle inside a square in elements it's at the top and it's a little blue and silver icon i believe when you do that it's going to create this black mask with the white letter and it's going to have a little chain link there and as it is right now, if you were to move it around, it's going to move the image and the mask, and you don't want that. So what you want to do is click that chain link, then click on the picture thumbnail, so your white box is around the picture. Then it's going to move your image, but it's not going to move the mask. So on your keyboard, you're going to click Control T. On a Mac, it's Command T. Everything is either Control for PC or Command for Mac. Control T, you're going to hold your shift key down and you're going to drag your corners. And when you do that, it's going to keep your image proportions so that you don't get an image that's too um, wide or, you know, if I don't hold my shift key down and I drag my corners, it could really distort my image, which could jack it up. So you're going to drag your corners holding the shift key down until you get your image to fill your S. And you can do it as big or small as you want. And you basically just want to get your image to fill and to look how you want it to look. So at this point, I've got it to where I'm happy with it looking like this. So you're going to either click this little check mark or you can hit the enter key on the keyboard as a shortcut and it's going to put it in there. That's going to be your image. Pretty easy. So to kind of go over that again, Pick your image that you want. We're doing our E next, so I'm going to pick, let's see, we'll pick this picture. Control or Command A, Control C to copy it. Then click on your mask, Control V to paste it. Control, hold down Control key, click on your little thumbnail to make your selection. Uh, with your mask, with your image selected, click the circle inside a square to create the mask. Click the little chain link to turn the linking off. Click on your thumbnail, control T, and then drag your image until you get it to fit into your letter. Holding down the shift key, when you've got it in there, hit the enter key, and you're done. So it's very easy to use, pretty easy to figure out. You can work with pretty much any kind of image. Um, when I'm doing it, I find sometimes that I'll stick an image in and I decide that I don't like it. So you can go back, you can just delete your image and go back and try again. Do another image. You know, do it however you want to do it. You know, some people may put this in there and then find that they don't like the leg is cut off, so they pick another picture and they start over again. It's just whatever you want to do. So let's do, let's actually do this one for the eye. And then now I'm going to work at my pace to kind of just show you how I do my pace, how I work when I do it. I'm pretty fast. I've been doing this for like five years, so I've kind of got a kind of got a handle on it. So I'm going to resize it, paste it in there. I you can use your arrow keys also to move it around just a little by little if that's what you want to do. We need an O. Let's use this one for the O. and resize it, get it to where we want it to be, 
And then one more, let's do the R. Let's do this image for the R. So once you get the hang of it, it'll be easy. You'll know how to do it. Sometimes when you paste your images, if they're in the middle, they may not look like they're covering the R, but once you move them over there, then you'll see that they'll, they'll fit it just fine. The key is to having your image above that mask layer. That's what really helps make it good. And then they are. And there we go. And that's, you know, there's your senior collage. And from that point, you can flatten it or you can do whatever you want to do. I always save a JPEG file like this for each individual client. That way, if they come back and say, oh, I want to change this picture out for this, then I don't have to go back and do the whole thing over again. So each client's got their own PSD file of their their word collage so that I can make changes if I need to. So then let's um, let's do the family one real quick. We'll just do that and I'll show you again. So slow method again. You're going to pick whichever picture you want for your first letter. For the F, we'll do our family shot. Control A or Command A, Control C to copy it. <clears throat> I'm closing my images out instead of clicking the X. I'm doing Control W, just a shortcut key to make it faster. Click on your picture mask you want to use. In this case, it's the F. Control V to paste it in. And then you can move it over your F if you want. You're going to hold down the Control key. Click on that thumbnail. It's going to make your selection. Click on your layer. Click your circle inside a square icon for your mask. Then you're going to unlink it by clicking that chain link click on the picture, control T, hold down the shift key, and resize until it fits into your F the way that you want it. It's, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Again, it does take a minute to learn. Now, you're going to have instances like I just ran into where you do it and you look at it and you go, oh, that cut somebody off. Then you need to pick another image. You just click on your layer, you hit the delete button on your keyboard, or you can drag it down to the trash can icon and start over again. Pick something else, you know, pick something else that you want to use in there. Um, let's see, we'll pick this one of him and mom. Maybe that'll fit in there. Control A, Control C, Control V. Control click, click, unlink, click, control T, shift, drag, corners, shift, drag, corners, until we get it in there the way we want it. Um, I like the way that looks. So that's basically that. It's pretty easy to figure out, pretty simple to use. Let's do another mom one for the A. It's a lot of really methodical stuff just doing the same steps over and over again and uh, the more you go the more you do it the more you get used you'll get used to it you'll figure it out let's do what are we doing the M let's do this one for the M sometimes you'll make mistakes you'll have to go back and undo them and get and make them right sometimes I click on my mask too early stuff happens that looks good to me. Let's do, let's do that black and white one. We'll do that on the eye this time. That should look good. Whoops, that didn't do it right. There we go. There we go. And let's do the L. We'll do one of him and daddy. The L. Now you should save often when you're doing this. Every time you add an image, hit the save button. Every time you make a change, hit the save button. You want to save this out very often because you don't want to run into a case where you've put all four of your letters in or all five of your letters in and it took you a ton of time and then you get done and you realize, crap, doesn't work. Um, you know, I messed up, I did something wrong, it deleted it, it didn't save. You know, you don't want to get to a spot where you end up finding out that you jacked something up and it didn't save. So if you save often, then even if your computer crashes, you've got that file, you don't have to worry about it. And we'll make this one just them. Since it's kind of jacking up mom, we'll make it just them and the puppy. And that'll be that one. So there you go. There's my collage. That's the family one. 
Now, marketing boards work the same way. You're not going to have a letter though usually. You're going to have an actual picture mask that's a picture, but it's the same way. Control click on that and you're still going to get that selection. So let's open an image to use for that. It's 4th of July, so we're going to use a 4th of July image. This is a squidgy collage. However, I've modified the size of this um, this mask to be a rectangle instead of a square to fit my particular image. So, But it is a squidgy collage and it works the same way even if you resize it. So control V, pasting it above my picture mask. Control click to make that mask. Click the circle inside the square. Unlink it, click the picture, control T, and drag your corners. And then you can move it around to get it to fit in there. Drag your corners until you've got it the way you want it. Once it's filling your spot, hit the enter key and you're done. And that's it. Um, those uh, lines, by the way, those are guides. You can go to view, clear guides, drag out from the ruler to make a guide, and control H to hide them. So there you go. Now you've got your marketing board and you're done. You don't have to do anything else. Pretty easy. Befores and afters work the same way. Anything that's got a mask works the same way. So you take your image, control A, control C, you go here, click on your picture mask, paste it above, control click, click, unlink, click, control T, and resize it to fit. It all works the same way uh, no matter what kind of mask. Um, no matter what kind of document you're working in, a photo mask is a photo mask and it all works the same way. So I'm hoping that this tutorial was good enough for you, that it helped you. And once I get this resized in here, I'll show you the last one and then we'll be done. And there we are. Then we're done. There's the last one, before and after. Um, so that was my tutorial. And if you have any questions, just let me know. If you want me to go over a step a little slower or even explain something in detail, just let me know and I'll do it for you.